Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, it would seem that the Australian dollar has found renewed support from that level of 70 cents overnight after rallying up towards the top side of the range around 71.25.35. And from there, the market has actually staged a rejection. Still, we've got to see a little bit more evidence to the MACD to marry up with the RSI and move through the midway point. Although from the rejection is encouraging and it does expect to see further weakness towards the downside. The market did catch a little bit of a weaker US dollar, which helped the rally. But with the RBA guide bill, trying to avoid from any questions about the RBA potential rate cut coming up in November 3rd, the market is still a little bit jittery. Still, let's see if the market does retreat further from that 71.25.35 resistance. And above there, there is a 60-day moving average. We, you can see the resistance coming in around 71.90, along with the downtrend at 71.90. Looking at the euro, we can see the market took a challenge to the upside. However, it seems it's finding some resistance around the 118.80 level. Nevertheless, still be on your guard because of the weakness of the US dollar. The market has found a bit more, a little bit more encouragement. But I would say, <clears throat> as from recently seen, we can see that the market has retreated quite strongly from this 118 level. I am somewhat sitting on the sidelines and keeping a neutral uh, view just for the present just to see how the market plays into the rest of this week as we still wait for the Euristimus announcement from between the two sides of Steve Mutrin, the US Secretary, Treasury Secretary, and also from Nancy Pelosi. At the moment, the talks are still ongoing. Dollar yen, well, the market took a plunge after posting a gravestone doji. From there, the market is getting closer towards its objective of 104. Do continue to adjust your stop losses and take profit according to your risk management due to the fact is that we may get a rejection from 104 like previously. Nevertheless, now the two indicators that I look, look at is that the uh, MACD and the RSI are married up. So I do feel there is could be a little bit more bearish sentiment coming through to the market. With the ongoing talks that still seem to be going nowhere, to the Brexit, is that the pound found a little bit more momentum overnight and surged. Now it is quite surprising as there has been much talk of a potential cut in rates in the UK. Nevertheless, the pound has found a little bit more strength and therefore could see a little bit more guidance towards that 131.90 like previously. It didn't sustain very much towards that level and then plummeted as you can see. But I'm going to keep it like with the euro, just sit out for the moment and just see how the market plays to this very strong candle. Keep an eye on your sterling yen yeah, no. though. If we see a break above 138, that would negate the bearish case and not look away from 35 to 34 and possibly back up to 139. What's leading this market, of course, is the sterling leg being very, rather on the strong case. But nevertheless, like previously, there was good resistance there. So let's see if the market can again hold. Little to say when it comes to gold, as we can still see the market is still showing resistance around that 32.35 area. There is a bit of an uptrend coming through here, as you can see in the short term, which comes in around roughly around 1,900 to 05 to about 10 level. Keep an eye on this indicator, because if we do see a breakdown, then we could see another rejection from this region of 32.5 and look back towards the re bottom side of the range around 83. That is 1,883. A break above 35 would give further confidence to the bulls and see a rally up to 68, however. Well, as you can see, the resistance served very, very well at 41.70.75 overnight with the market plunging back towards $39 a barrel. It would seem that uh, the risk that uh, we are looking further to the downside, but in the short term, an opportunity to buy. We could see support around 38.5 with a base seen at 36.5. Look for the uh, pullback as a potential demand or correction from the turnaround from the, either of these two levels and look back to rules eventually to the upside. But for now, we are seeing a bit more of a bearish play for crude.
that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intraday report. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day.